Welcome to Integrated Science for SHS1. My name is Joy Jijo Dunya, and I'll be your facilitator for this subject. Now, in this overview, we are going to look at the structure of integrated science as a subject. And it consists of four main topics or sub subjects biology, physics, chemistry, and agricultural science. Now, we know in some schools we have facilitators for two facilitators for integrated science. So one handling biology and agric, and another physics and chemistry. But for this study, I'll be looking at all four exclusively. Now, some students wonder why we study integrated science as a subject. Studying science gives us a thorough understanding of our natural world. So it enables us to understand what is happening within the world we live in. So it enables us to explain simple phenomena, like rainfall. And thanks to science, now we know that simple principles like rainfall are caused by the condensation of clouds in the sky, which falls as tiny water droplets, which we see as rain, and not um, any other uh, superstitious belief that we tend to attach to rainfall and the associated thunder and lightning that we see sometimes. It also enables us to develop a scientific mind and a scientific culture. So things that happen around us, we tend to adopt a scientific approach to them and not a superstitious approach. So now we know that when we don't keep our surroundings clean, we are more likely to fall sick because then it serves as breeding grounds for harmful microorganisms and some pathogens. And so this is the scientific way that disease gets transmitted and not superstitious belief or because cases have been rained on the sufferers of these diseases. Also, studying science equips the students with relevant scientific skills like critical thinking skills, analytical skills, organizational skills, data collection skills, and data interpretation skills. And all these skills are relevant to making the student or the researcher well equipped in explaining the scientific principles or occurrences that is happening around the individual. So if the researcher goes on a field to collect data, all these skills will enable them to make sense of the data they collect and apply it to the day-to-day -day life. Finally, it fosters personal and national development through innovation. So in recent times where we've been hit by the deadly coronavirus, we've had people who have made some amazing innovations, like different uh, forms of the Veronica bucket, where you can just use your feet to cause the water to flow after adding some liquid soap to your hands. Then you can wash your hands properly with very little ease. And all these things go a long way to promote personal hygiene on an individual level and also foster national development. Now, let's look at how the integrated science subject is organized. The lessons in the subject cover five key sections. Diversity of matter, cycles, systems, energy, and interactions of matter. In diversity of matter, we have introduction to integrated science, measurement, diversity of living and non-living things, cells, and rocks. In cycles, we look at air movement and nitrogen cycle. Then in systems, we look at the skeletal system, reproduction and growth in plants, the respiratory system, food and nutrition, dentition, feeding and digestion in mouths, and transport, which comprise of diffusion, osmosis, active transport, and plasmolysis. Then in energy, we look at the forms of energy and energy transformation, solar energy, photosynthesis, and electronics. And then finally, in interactions of matter, we look at the ecosystem, atmosphere and climate change, and finally, infections and diseases. Now, in this overview, 
we looked at integrated science as a subject. Now, this covers integrated science in SHS 1. And we've seen that the subject largely comprised of four subtopics covering biology, physics, chemistry, and agricultural science. We've also seen that it has five key sections or key themes from diversity of matter, systems, cycle, energy, and interactions of matter. Now, in our first lesson, we'll be looking at Introduction to Integrated Science. See you in the next lesson.